hello students let us see this question here in the figure below what is the potential difference between the point a and b and between b and c respectively in steady state so between a in the steady state it is saying so in the steady state all the capacitor will be fully charged so when the capacitor all the capacitor is fully charged then there will no current in the circuit because uh, right this whole part is fully charged so the whole part can be removed so if you remove this whole part then there will be no uh, right closed circuit for the flow of current so i can say at the steady state no current will flow so at steady state right i will become zero okay so now i need to find the potential difference across a and b uh, a and b and b and c at this state so so right so i need to solve this so let us take this potential is v is zero volt so this will be 100 volt okay so this is 100 so there is no current flowing in this one so there is no potential drop here so here also it will be 100 okay and similarly there is no current in this 20 ohm resistor so there will no potential drop again here so same voltage will be here also so same potential will be here also so that will be zero volt and this hole will be zero volt okay now if you see this is the node here this is completely isolated part so the total charge so this is the node so total charge all these plates in this node will be zero so so let us take this plate i am taking as one this is i am taking as two this i can take as uh, three and this i can take as plate four so q1 will be equal to right c into v so c is three and potential difference will be so i am assuming the potential on this node is v so v minus zero so that will be v only so that is the q1 let us talk about q2 so q2 will be equal to uh, 3 right once again uh, this is also 3 c into v potential difference is c this is v and this is once again 0 this part is 0 only so once again v so this is q2 q3 will be equal to so let us talk about q3 now so c the c is 1 here so that is 1 and potential difference is v and this part is on 100 volt so v minus 0 okay now q4 so q4 that is plate 4 uh, c is equal to 1 so 1 into potential difference is v minus 100 so that is equal to v minus 100 so if you will see here this will become 3 v or you can say the voltage i am taking in volt and this you are taking in uh, microfarad so this will be sorry this is 3 v uh, micro coulomb or something right and this will be once again 3 v micro coulomb and this will become v minus 100 micro coulomb and this will also become v minus 100 micro coulomb but sum of all the charges must be equal to zero because this is a node here so i can say from here 3v plus 3v plus v minus 100 is two times so 2 into v minus 100 this must be equal to zero sum of all the charges so from here i can say 6v plus 2v minus 200 that will be equal to zero so from here i can say right v will be equal to 200 upon 8 so so it will be equal to 25 so it is coming here 25 volt right so 25 volt is coming v now you can say i need to find the potential difference between uh, b and a so a is at 0 volt and b is coming at 25 volt so this is your 25 volt here so potential difference across a and b will be 25 so i can say here v a b is equal to 25 volt and v b c right b c see this is 100 volt and this is 25 volt so that will be 25 volt so this will be 25 volt so this would be the answer so let us see which option is matching here so v a b uh, v a b is 25 and v b c is 25 volt so option c is correct okay students i hope you understood this question